Hey everybody, just a quick update on the garden. Uh, my friend wanted me to show you how the peas are doing, so here we go. And I'll go over a couple other things going on in my garden. So, come along. Alright, first off, you may remember my pea video. Uh, it's been about a month, and uh, try and get down here close so you can see. These are the peas. They're doing pretty good. They're about uh, anywhere from three to six or eight inches tall in some cases and have quite a few rows of them and some places down on this far end um, I don't know if you can see it but they're almost all like gone and I I found some grasshoppers in here eating so apparently they like peas this other big row of dirt you see here those are potatoes I put potatoes in the in the ground there all a little while back and they haven't come up yet but uh, I like potatoes and that's especially homegrown ones this is the garlic these great big ones are elephant garlic and uh, they've been in since fall same with the ones next to it the smaller ones next to it I had uh, Planted the year before, and I took them, I pulled them up and divided them and planted them again. And then these are just some garlic cloves that I bought at Safeway, and uh, I just divided up the cloves and planted those, and hopefully they'll make some more. Moving along, the next thing in my garden here are strawberries. So you can kind of see the strawberry plants. Some of them are already starting to send out their first flowers and I got those planted all along the fence here so um, if you see over here you see a big area that I tilled this is where I usually put my corn and I'll probably put corn in there again this year last year I planted it all at one time this year I'm gonna stagger it I'm gonna plant two different crops of corn my rototiller. Let's talk about this. Um, it's an old Troy built rototiller. From what I understand, it was somewhere around 1970 or mid 70s is when this model came out. And uh, I was rototilling it uh, and I blew the motor. It, it just started acting really strange and it had oil and everything, but I guess just too many years of tilling and uh, someone had given it to me because uh, they'd taken the carburetor off and couldn't get it to work so I rebuilt the carburetor and put it on and it was doing good for me for a few years about five years and then it blew the motor but it just so happened that I had a motor I bought this motor at Harbor Freight when they were on sale for a hundred dollars it's a six and a half horsepower. Kind of looks like the Honda design. Probably a Chinese knockoff of a Honda design. But that thing bolted right up. Um, so for a hundred bucks, I got my rototiller moving along again. So let me swing out here, kind of show you the the garden again. You can see the peas, and then back behind there is my orchard, and it's it's doing pretty good too. Let's walk over there real fast. And I'll show you one more thing on the way. <clears throat> now these are my hops in these little round circles where I planted hops. Uh, I brew my own beer, so I'm gonna try and start making my uh, producing my own hops instead of having to buy hops for my beer. Some of them are kind of small, but you can you can see the hop vines coming up. And uh, from what I read, these things can get up to like 20 feet tall in a single season and then they die back down in the winter so that's what's going on with the with the hops this is my little makeshift gate to keep my dogs out of here I'm gonna make a better one so I'm gonna walk down here that's Lucky running away and Tucker take you over here now these wood chips 
uh, the the uh, people that work for APS and and they clear around the power lines, they cut the trees away from the power lines around here. And if you see them out on the road, you can just ask them to dump the chips on your property. And that's what I've done. So it's great mulch. It's free. Um, this right here is a uh, oh man, what kind of? This was a plum tree. Yeah, this is a plum tree, and uh, it's got a couple of little tiny micro plums. That's a peach tree, and it's actually pretty loaded with peaches, little tiny ones. I don't, I don't know if I could, if you'd be able to see one, a tiny peach. Maybe if I get really close, you could kind of see a tiny peach right there at the tip of my finger, starting. And there's a whole bunch of those on there. That's Ein. He's our newest dog. And then this is an apricot. And it has a lot of little apricots on it. See them there? And if you look down here, there's some apricots on here as well. And then I got an app. This is an apple. Uh, just flower, just starting to flower in a few places here. No apples yet. And over there is a cherry. It looks like it has a couple small cherries on it. Um, underneath here, you kind of see the cherries hanging there. Or where they will start. Another apple. Another cherry. It's my house, my garage I'm building. And finally, another plum. And if you look real closely in there, you can see some little plums hanging right in the center of the screen. So, kind of exciting. That's what's going. That's what's going on in the garden. And uh, I'll try and post more videos as the year goes on. Take care. Bye bye.